Hi guys, it's me again, Rudwan. Now, um, yesterday we dealt with the note names. We spoke about um, the music alphabet, where we start, where the normal alphabet is from A to G, but in music we're starting from C. And um, then we also spoke about sharps, when you come from, when you're on a white note, and you want to go, and you want to determine which, where's your, what is your next note, which is a black one, then that one will be a sharp. Uh, the, and the other one is, that's now from left to right. And when it becomes a flat is when you, uh, when your direction is from right to left. But today, um, I would like to talk about F sharp specifically, because many guys, they love F sharp and they have degrees in F sharp. Uh, I only have a grade one. <laughs> in in F sharp uh, but I would like to share this because I know many guys struggle with this so F sharp is this note many guys they call it F they play this they play F sharp but they call it F because they someone told them that it's F but now I'm here to help them so each key on the keyboard or the piano it has its own scale and this scale is six notes, seven notes. And with the seven notes, you will know where you are in the specific key. Let's say um, someone tells you to play the four of the key, then immediately you know that's what you must play. When someone says play the minor two, then you know, or the two minor, then you know exactly what to do. So today, I would like to speak about the F sharp. So F sharp scale is the following. Now that is F sharp scale. Now in the scale, there is so many you can do. But you get the F. Um, major scale as well as a minor scale now for the purpose of this video are we only going to talk about f sharp so in order to understand music you need to know that uh, there's notes which is single ones then you have chords which is a group of notes together and they make a certain a certain sound can okay, yeah here's an example Ta -da. this is a single note this is a chord now you will hear that people normally talk about a root note now a root note is normally the first note in any key uh, so if let's say uh, we dealt with a with a note names yesterday so let's look at the scale, the note names of the F sharp major scale. So the note names is as follows. We're gonna only talk about sharps. We're not gonna uh, talk about flats. So it's F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp. D sharp, F, F is actually the last one, but I like to close it with the, the root note again, F sharp again. So you have, um, if we can count the amount, the amount of sharps we have, it is one F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, C sharp, D sharp. So F sharp is five sharps now there's something we call a, a, a B natural now the, this B does not is, is not sharp or flat it is just B natural same with F okay now in order for us to understand chords you need to know we work with formulas in music. 
So there's something we call a 135. Uh, before we get to the 135, uh, remember I mentioned now the note names. Now on each of these notes, there's a number. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I always say eight because eight and one is the same. So in order to know what the one, three, five of F sharp major is, you need to know the formula. So we, we counted, we know the names of the notes, so now we know the numbers on these notes. So if, uh, if I say, let's say, um, please find F sharp, it's a major chord for me, then what will it be? It will be three, three notes, which is A135. So one, two, three, four, five. Now that is your F sharp major triad. Uh, we call it a triad because it's three notes. It can be here, you can play it here also. Like I said, if you know, if you understand the grouping of the notes, then it's always easier. Now the next, the next chord. Um, uh, the, the second chord of the second note in the scale. So it, the first chord of the second note in the scale is, what did we say? This note is G sharp. So in order to determine, uh, you see the thing is with, with these things, you need to know all the scales in order to know where you are. Then it's easier to always do the one, three, five. But for this exercise, I will mix up the numbers a bit. So in order for us to find the next chord, uh, it will be this. So it will be what? two, four, six. That's our next note. Two, four, six. Two, four. We're talking about the numbers now. Now the third, the third chord is what? It will be a B flat chord, but um, I'm not going to go into detail of that now. But let's think numbers now. Let's think numbers. So the numbers would be three, five, seven. So that's what it will sound like. When we go to our fourth one, our fourth chord in the scale, it will start on the number four note number six and one or eight if i want if we can put it like that the next one the next chord will start on the five so it's five seven uh let's say the numbers carry on from eight from one to eight and they carry on to the next whatever number so now we say it, the fifth chord starts on five seven and two again okay let's just keep it like that two again it's the fifth chord now let's go to the sixth chord of uh, the scale it will start on six one three it sounds like that the last chord is a diminished chord it will be seven two four and back to one and there you go that's all the chords in the f sharp major scale see you again